Hello, hello, and welcome to the show. My name is Isolde Trachtenberg, and I have a hair in my eye. I hate when that happens. So I am thrilled and happy to welcome you to this raw, real, unedited show, The Creative Kind, where I'm exploring how to get you the creative life of your dreams. Right now, I'm talking about being an implementer versus being a visionary two different ways of viewing the creative process. As I said in yesterday's episode, an implementer would be the day-to-day -day person. A visionary is the person who has those intuitive leaps. And I started talking about fire. In ancient times, if you saw fire, chances are you would look at it as a destructive force. Before ancient people realized that they could do something with fire, they didn't know that striking stone on stone would get you a flame somewhere where you could control what was going on. Chances are wildfire started because of a lightning strike or some other reason, and the people would have to run away from that because it, it is a dis obviously a destructive force. So the visionary might have seen that and gone, oh, wait a minute. Not only is it destructive, but it also heats and illuminates. Like, I can now see better in the dark, and it's been cold, but look, now I'm warmer because of this fire. Now it's destructive because there's no control around it. But what if I could control it? What if I could figure out a way to harness that and do something with it? And I don't know enough about the anthropology of it all to be able to tell you this is what happened. I'm not sure anybody does. However, imagine with me, if you will, what it would mean to then be a visionary and go, okay, so I see that this is what happened when the lightning struck. What if I were to get close enough to grab a, a, a branch that was that was burning and then ran somewhere else that was contained and put the branch down and brought other branches, right? And after a while, kindling. And after a while, ringing a set of stones around the branches or perhaps setting up the set of the, the ring of stones to begin with so that you could have a fire ring and that's where you'd have your fire. And then discovering the idea of hitting stone on stone with kindling so that you can start the fire and then making it happen. That would be the visionary. The visionary would want to see about what they could do to harness it and how to make it work. That's the inspirational part, right? Then comes the implementer and the implementer goes, that's great, but now we have this one fire. Does that mean that we have one fire that we now have to tend from here on in and we can never let it go out? Well, that's ridiculous. How do I systematize it? What do we need to know? What do we need to do in order for us to be able to have fire the next time we want it? Because we don't want fire all day, every day, right? Because of that, they had to come up with a system that would work step by step. So you have the ring of stones and you have to go and get the kindling and the kindling can't be too wet. So you put the kindling in and you have to know that trial and error. That's the implementer part too. And you put the kindling in and you strike the stone, stone on stone, stone on stone, and then you realize, okay, this works. Great. Then further, the implementer would go, but not only that, but there are people over there and they need one too. They don't necessarily have a ring of fire. They don't have a way of doing this. So let me help them. And that is another way the implementer would do their magic by setting up the steps that you need to follow 200 yards away, 500 yards away, six miles away. It doesn't matter. That idea is important because it gives us both the intu sort of intuitive leap of taking this wild, destructive thing and figuring out how to make it something that you could work with and the systematization of the step-by-step -step that allows you to do it not just today, but tomorrow and for all the tomorrows. And now we look at fire as something we, you know, you can take a box of matches and strike a match and there's your flame. We don't think about the miracle of what it took to get that harnessed energy millennia ago. We don't, we just don't think about it, but that's part of the magic. The visionary harnessed it. The implementer allowed it to evolve in such a way that now when I, when I want to light a candle, all I have to do is strike a match. That's really important because that kind of creativity flows and allows us access to a timeless system of both 
visions and the implementation of those visions. I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. I think there's so much there to think about. Please uh, do me a huge favor and tell your friends about this because I think we can all find that creative within us and bring our creativity out into the world so that we are living the life of our dreams. That I think we're all creative, different flavors of creativity, but every single one of us has that that creativity inside us that, that once it's out and in the world will only enrich the world because when we're creative, we don't have time to be bullies. We don't have time to be unkind. We don't have time to be cruel. All we have time to do is create and enrich the world with our creations. I hope that you've enjoyed today's episode. This is Isolde Trachtenberg. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.